For the first time in NBL1 East history, Norths will face off against Hornsby Karingai. With the Spiders struggling in their debut season and at the bottom of the competition ladder, they will be desperate to get a win against their local rivals. A new chapter will be written in the North Shore Derby. Welcome to Two Fit in the Paints NBL1 Preview Show. What a weekend we have ahead of us, Garen. It's history in the making, the first time the Hornsby Kringai Spiders and the North Bears have met in the NBL1 East competition. It's the battle of the North Shore, the Upper North Shore versus the Lower North Shore. I mean, these two teams, friends off the court, but heated rivals on the court. And coming up first, we have the men's matchup. And Garen, for the Hornsby Spiders, it's been a bit of a rough start to the year. So many heartbreaking losses. We're talking 60-61 versus Canberra, such a close game, just lost on the buzzer. Then the next week, 71 to 69 loss to Penrith. They're a young team, it's a good learning curve, a lot of experience again from this season. Uh, coached by Mahesh, um, and done a great job with this young squad. Don't look at their, um, what's it called? Don't look at their ladder board, don't look at what their team's uh, record is. Look at how they've been as a team collectively. And they've got a good young core they can work on. And Mesh is someone who has a lot of experience. Um, coaches a lot of the players he actually coaches against in NBL1. Probably in one-on-one. Um, Grind over excellence. So check it out. Check it out. Um, Danny Garrett's also a part of that. As is Caleb Magada on his Hornsby squad. So there's a lot of connection there. Um, he's got the right mind. He's a young coach. He really adapts to the game well. He, re- he really reads the modern game well. So he's able to adapt to that. But it's just a tough... Tough uh, NBL1 East uh, season with a lot of pack and stack. It is, and of course, not that long ago, had that one point loss against Bankstown, and then last week, Garen, a 64 to 95 loss to Horns, uh, to yeah. Albury. But so uh, close games. Yeah, so and records regardless. Standing out in that Albury game, we had Sharif Sapaya, 23 points, Garen, and he's been lighting it up all year. Sharif Sapaya, I mean, he really does it all for this Hornsby team. Rebounds, defends, plays the point guard. He's a player who's just got that unlimited swagger on offense. I mean, smooth jump shot, hits some clutch shots in these really close games as well, and um, can score on a dime. And Garen, it's not just Sharif who can fill it up for this Hornsby team. Of course, their athletic power forward, Kobeni Brefo, originally a Hills junior, now playing with Hornsby. What do you know about him? Yeah, always at the gym, getting shots up, working on his game. Um, at the brick pit, and he's not shooting bricks either. So good to see him working mm. on his shot, working on his angles and his game, and really um, the leading scorer of this team. Alongside another player, Danny Garrett, who's switching over from Norths to Hornsby. Big opportunity, played in Waratah League last year, made it to the semi-finals, I believe. So a good squad, um, and, and a very energ- energetic player coming off your bench. Sort of like that Dante DiVincenzo, can really spread the floor, can really give energy. Um, a ball handler that really keeps his dribble alive, and at the very last second, either looks to shoot or find his players. So players are patient. I mean, just quickly on Danny Garrett, I mean, played youth league for the Bears from 2018 to 2021. I mean, absolute sharpshooter and great guy off the court as well. So big shout out to Danny Garrett. Uh, we miss him at the Bear Cave, Garrett, um, but of course doing great things in the Hornsby system. As is another former Bear, played NBL1 with us last year. We sorely miss him. It's uh, Tom yeah, Gillis. Um, so this year averaging 8 points, 4 rebounds. So getting a bit of a bigger role with this Hornsby Korean guy team. Of course, originally played with Hornsby in the youth league competition. But now, starring in the NBL1 team, but um, of course, had a great career with the Bears, um, was really a great shooter, um, but it's of course Tom Gills' defense that um, gets him these roster spots. I mean, he can just move his feet, hyper athletic. Yeah, and, um, a Swiss Army knife, can play the two, three, four, can guard those positions quite well. So, yeah, it's his 3 and D that gets him, um, what did I say, contract in NBL1. Yeah, and there is one crossover that goes the other way, actually, Garen. Of course, Mikey Young, a Mikey Hornsby Jr. Junior. Yeah. Junior. I mean, I think we've got a photo of Mikey to pull up here. But it was just a little baby winning our championships yeah. from day one. I mean, Mikey Young against his old team. And, but that's what you see with the uh, North Shore derby. You see a lot of crossover between Hornsby and Norths. I mean, as we said at the start, Garen, Friends yeah. off the court, enemies on the court. So it's going to be a lot of familiar faces from both sides in this matchup. Hey, Garen, final thoughts on the Hornsby Karingai men's team? Yeah, they're a great squad. Um, all it takes is a quarter for them to just slide it up and to turn around in the game. 
treat every team the same, don't look at their record. Um, yeah, and they're a great team to watch. They're young and they're forever learning off uh, Coach Hesh. Um, Hesh so done a great job this season and look to see another energetic building and Pack Stadium at the Brick Pit. We'll be there for sure to check out these players. So yeah, it's gonna be a good game.